read uh, Luke 13, verse 20, 22. Luke 13, verse 22. Jesus journeyed on through cities and villages, teaching and making his way towards Jerusalem. And someone asked him, Lord, will only a few be saved? And he said to them, strive to enter through the narrow door. Can you see that? For many, I tell you, will try to enter by their own works and will not be able. Amen. I see the verse. Amen. I see the verse there. Hey, Can you see. read that verse 24 louder in your 24. Bible? Twenty-five. Once the head of the house gets up and closes the door, and you begin to stand up outside and knock on the door, saying, Lord, open to us, then he will answer you, I do not know you. I do not know where you are from, for you are not of my household. Then you will begin to say, we ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. But he will say to you, I do not know where you are from. Amen. Depart from me, all you evildoers. Amen. I mean, let's bow again, we pray. Thank Lord, you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want us to understand what we are reading and believe the word that God wants to give us today. You know, Jesus was trying to teach the kingdom to the disciples and people are listening. But when he began to speak about this, I remember Matthew 25. When he began to speak about the way we are reading now, when he was talking about ten visions, five were wise, five foolish. And the foolishness in the Bible shows that you say there is no God. Here Jesus is showing that there will be a time whereby the door will be closed. I'm sure you're hearing that. And then that door is a door that when we look at it, we don't desire to use it. If you read here, the Bible talks about the narrow gate. Which is the narrow door. There are many doors in front of us. Others are attractive, decorated. As you know, there are doors. But here Jesus said, strive to enter. In other words, it is not easy to enter through that narrow door. I want to speak about doors are open. Write that down. Doors are open. If you can read there, Jesus was saying, can you see that door? door? It's narrow. It's open. Strive to enter through it. Meaning, entering through it is not easy. Many, he was speaking here, he said, they will try other doors. But they can be laid because the father of the house will close that door. You see, there are people who will be serious in the last minute. I don't know if you're hearing that. This is the time that you must know that God has open the doors of opportunities. The doors that I'm talking about that are open are of opportunities. 
opportunity to go through whether it's tough or not. But you tell yourself, yourself I, want I want to enter there. In verse 25, it shows that 25, those doors one day will be closed. Tell your neighbor, the, the door, door that has been opened for you one day will be closed. And he said, and even a, when it's closed, if you reach and try to knock, or try to do whatever you are doing, because the owner of the house will be saying the time is finished, he won't open for you. I was reading this, I was challenged by what God is doing now in our ministry. In this ministry, doors are open. Tell me doors are open. And this is the time of not wasting. We need to go through those doors. Though it's tough or not. If you read here, the Bible shows that to enter through a narrow door, you will meet challenges. But there is joy on the other In side. In Matthew 7, verse 7, the Bible says, Keep, knock, and keep on knocking. And the door will be open. To you. Listen, if you know that. This is the door and it's a right door. Don't die outside. Keep on knocking. The reason why the door looks like it's knocking. What is, what's the meaning of knocking? Keep on doing what is right. Keep on doing what is good. If it is true that there is no way out, keep on, on knocking. And the one who closed there will open. Listen to this. This, this week, week, when you leave this church, you'll be surprised you are entering a place where nobody has ever entered. Listen, when you are Seeing the door there. We have been promised that you can still go closer to the door. It's not easy to enter. But what you need to do, don't stay outside. Keep on doing, doing what is right until the owner opens the door. I'll see someone entering somewhere. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Listen to everyone on earth. If there is a door that is open, there are challenges. I don't know if you are hearing me. Your road won't be smooth. You can meet trouble. I remember in 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9 when Paul was speaking, he said, because a white door effective service has opened for me there are many adversaries I want you to understand this verse never judge yourselves by the people who are against you don't judge yourself by unfavorable conditions look here if there's a door open in front of you, adversaries will, will come to make you to, not to see the door. They will try to block you so that you must not go and enter through the door. That is why many people who are listening to me here, their lives are not easy. They are facing tough times. But I'll be here to tell you it's because of the effective door that is in front of you. Can I prophesy someone who's here? From today, 
Some people will be exposed. Those who don't want you to enter, they will be exposed. And they will leave your way. And you will enter without problems. You will enter without problems. You will enter without challenges. I've been seeing it in Charis. If we have a child of destiny, you will see people hating the church. It's not happening also in the church. Even in the families. You find you are misunderstood. You find people are fighting you. You ask yourself all the time, what is it that you have done? It's because of the door of service. A door which is effective. That will make you something. They are seeing it, but you are feeling it, and they will make sure that they take away the feeling. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are some people who are here. God has brought them here because of a certain purpose. But because the door is open, look what is happening where you are working. Look at what is happening in your family. Look what is happening. Whatever that you are trying to do to advance your life, it becomes it becomes a change to you. It becomes a challenge to you. But I'm here to tell you, as I'm seeing a door that the Lord has opened, this year, you will enter in that place. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Listen to this. When God opens the door, you will be surprised people you thought they will celebrate you. They become enemies. When God just opened the door, if you want to see that God has opened the door, they come close to you to find out how far are you coping with the situation. When they say, how are you? They don't say they want to help you. They want to find out how far are you facing what you are facing. There are some people that God is telling me, I must tell them. From now on, as the door of opportunities, a door of making you better, the door of living your life, the door of your calling, the door of your direction, as they are open, I will see you entering and nobody will be able to block you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. There are some people who can make you to feel like you can, can fail wherever you go. go. You find yourself begging well, in that, that company. company because you think if you, you lose Hanaori. the job, you can't get it anywhere. Hanaori. They make you to feel that you are a failure and you can't do anything somewhere. Listen, I'm here to tell you, out of my experience of how God works, people can block you here. When you look around, you find they are nothing. And God will be telling you they are blocking you because where you are is a smaller place. I want to take you to a higher level. Can you tell your neighbor, say, my friend, when people fight you where you are, don't be disparate. They are telling you there is another higher place where you can go and you will be favored. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are some people that devil will use. Check, check where they come from. Look where 
where they were. They don't even know where God is taking you. How he planted you where you are. I don't know if you are hearing me. I want to tell someone who's here. Because the door that was locked is open. You know what is happening now? God will try. Will try. Because though he will try, he won't do, he will try to tell your enemy, leave this man, leave this woman. You can't block him. There is no way he won't enter where I want him to enter. So leave him. I have opened the door for him. A door of progress. A door of success. A door of their calling. God has opened a door for you. Listen. Think about when God tried. Because it's long has been telling them this one is my child and yourself you are coming to church you are seeing nothing now God will try and if when God try it means it's the last time your enemies are given the last chance if they try to stop you they will be surprised you are inside there I say you are inside there. Can I tell you this? From now to December, there will be mystery things that will be happening in Charis. Why? Why? Because I'm seeing people entering a place where they were blocked for many years. I'm seeing people entering a place where they were denied for many years. I say you are entering. Tell your neighbor, say I'm entering. The door is open. I'm entering. Tell him the door is open. I'm entering. Can I tell you this? When God opens doors, He makes sure that even those who are guarding those doors they will never understand when Peter was in prison there were three doors outside when the Bible says the angel came and said you don't belong here you know that angel came and said Peter you don't belong here and he clapped Peter and said bam follow me when Peter was following all the doors agree when they were coming it was like slicing doors with a sense of sensing you if you hear say amen you will go through I'm here to tell you you are going to enter and when you enter the door will close behind you it's you only that will enter that place if you believe shout amen look here when Peter heard it he just followed the angel was in front and the door said there comes Peter he is unstoppable he is unblockable and the door opened by itself. Listen to this. Today, that door, where nobody in your family has ever opened, that door will sense you when you leave this house. It will open by itself. I say it will open by itself. If you believe, shout hallelujah. What I'm telling you is a prophecy, it's not a message. Listen, there's a door of shame in front of you. A door of limitation in front of you. A door of stagnation in front of you. You are supposed to be all on the other side. But it's only you who's hearing the sound of my voice. That when you reach there, this door will say, There comes Makananisa. There comes Eric. Eric there comes Joseph. Joseph there comes Ethan. Ethan Say, there comes me. And Listen. That door will open when by itself. 
there are some people who are trying to open doors by themselves. Listen, don't open it by yourself. There is someone from heaven, the angel from above, is there to open a door for you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. If you read Acts 523, you will see that the doors are not the same. They are not the same. That is why Jesus said in John 10 verse 2, he said, I am the shepherd. I enter by the door. In other words, it's only when you follow Jesus that the door, you will find it. I don't know if you're hearing me. In Acts 5, verse 23, you see different kinds of doors. But in John 10, verse 2, Jesus says, hey, I am the shepherd. If you want to enter through that door, follow me, follow me. In that time, in Israel, a shepherd will lead the sheep. I don't know if you hear me. And the sheep will follow. So Jesus says, hey, I am the shepherd, you are the sheep. Don't worry about what you are facing. Just follow. Just follow. You will enter there. You will enter there. There is someone here who is just following. Following. And following is like stupidity. But I'm here to tell you, today, you are entering there. Jesus will lead you to your destiny. Jesus will lead you to your direction. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, the moment you hear a voice of the servant of the Lord, know that if I can still hear, it means the door is open. Can I tell you this? When the prophet, when was the, the woman of Shunammite, did everything, and this prophet was Elisha. Elisha. This Elisha said, this woman suffered for us too much. Can we call her? Listen, Elisha, Elisha never went to the woman. She wanted the woman to stand at the door, which is open, and the prophecy will work. You know what happened? He said, Girls, call that woman because we see that there's a child that is needed here. Remember, girls went there and find that this woman does not need anything. But it was girls who said she doesn't have a child. There is something that money cannot buy that need the voice of the man of God when the Door is open. When Elisha saw a woman, she came and and she was standing where the door was open. Elisha knew he could not waste time. Because the door is open. You see, next year this time, you'll be carrying your baby. You'll be carrying your baby. Listen. Because Elisha knew the mysteries of the open door, he never prayed. He just said, you are entering. As I'm hearing, the voice is inside. It's not outside. Because many of you, you will confuse by the voice of outside and you were going astray by the voice of outside. So we must open the door for you and speak when we are inside so that you hear a voice from the inside. Listen to this. There might be a voice that you are hearing from people but I'm here to tell you there's a voice inside of you. That voice says you will make it. That opportunity belongs to you if you believe shall. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I 
I see opportunities in charities which I want to tell you about. Opportunities of missionaries where people here God will take them all over the world and you are the one that God is taking. Listen, I hear the voice of the Lord saying I'm using you as a foundation but everybody I will plant in from you. If there will be no there will be no from you and the well will listen to them and you are the one you are the one the well is waiting for you I said the well is waiting for you I'm here to advertise you because the door is open I'm here to say enter 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 don't stay outside enter to where God has called you enter to the business that God has created you enter I say enter don't delay don't worry Jesus is in front of you enter enter Say I'm entering. Say I'm entering. Where I cannot be blessed. Say I'm entering. Where I cannot be stopped. Say I'm entering. Enter. 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 I'm entering my house. I'm entering my car. I'm entering my life. This is the life that God has created. I'm entering. I cannot be hindered. I cannot be blocked. I'm entering where God wants me to be. I'm entering where God has called me to be. I'm entering. Say I'm entering. I'm entering. And no one. I am able to stop me where I am entering. That's where my God wants me to be. Where I am entering. Listen. The door is open. The opportunities are coming to you. There's an opportunity that needs you only. There's an opportunity of billions where God wants to make you a leader. There's an opportunity where God will make you a leader in the family. And the progress that is coming into your life. I don't know if you're hearing me. Say I'm entering. I've been disappointed. But I'm entering. I've been blocked. But I'm entering. They were trying to stop me. But I'm entering my place. My place of rest. I'm entering. I see you entering. Say I'm entering. I see you entering. Listen. Listen. When doors are open. I'm in a way full. You will even forget your age. You listen, listen. No one can find your age. When doors are open, let's take you, you want to marry and doors are open. Uh, you will see even young people coming to you. You, you just see young people say, so, you, you, you look so beautiful. You look so beautiful. You look so beautiful. I'm flabbergasted. Uh -huh. So not you, 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 you hear people organize the, the ways of approaching you because the time has come. Don't, don't look at your time. When God opens the door, your age is not needed. Your failure of the past is not needed. 
Your shame of the past is not <laughs> there. How many of you are hearing me? How many of you are hearing me? It is your time <laughs> to enter <laughs> your place. If you believe, shout out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, <laughs> you will enter a place. <laughs> When money in your pocket does not suit that place. Listen, there's no anything on earth that will measure your suitability of the place. I don't know if you're hearing me. You, you will enter a place that when people look at you, they say, you are not the one, you are not suitable to enter You will take a position because doors are open. When you sit there in the office, they are expecting they will meet a white man. They find you Speaking in your, your language. I don't know if you are hearing it. It's when those are open. It's when those are open. I said those are open. Those are open. Those are open. Say enter. Don't stay outside. Enter. That is your message. This week, you are entering. When I was Say, I'm entering. Because my door is open. Let me give an example. If you are a Charis member, this is your message that you must check from now to two months to come. Check yourself from now to two months to come if you are not living your life. You realize that oh, this is where I wanted to be. I don't, I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are some people who are looking at you, but they can't see someone behind you. They are judging you. You are useless. No one can marry you. No, they can't see somebody behind you. No one can love you. I prophesy someone here. I say they are about to wander. I said they are about to wander. Amen. Can I prophesy someone? Those who are looking at you down, they don't know the one who's behind you. They don't know that you are not alone. There is someone behind you. And that one is about to fight for you from today. Say I'm entering. Say I'm entering. Say I'm entering my place. I'm entering my house. I'm entering my car. I'm entering my job. I'm entering my position. Let me hear you talking about it. Speak it. Speak it. Where are you entering? 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 Carry on, carry on. Pili, Chalang Pili. I can't hear you. I kill it. Where are you entering? Can you speak that? Can you speak with all your power? In Jesus' name. Amen.